Well, we're getting a look at plans to curb the spread of COVID-19 in local voting booths. For the first time ever, early voters will be able to cast their ballots at some of the Queen City's biggest sporting venues, Bank of America Stadium, Spectrum Center, and Bojangles Coliseum. New at 6, WCNC Charlotte's Ashley Daly joins us with details on what voters can expect. Well, they certainly offer the added space, allowing more people inside at one time, which election officials hope will not only keep poll workers and voters safe, but they also hope it will prevent long lines from forming outside. With the 2020 presidential election less than four months away, elections officials are in a race of their own, working to ensure voters feel safe. Michael Dickerson is director of elections for Mecklenburg County. The check-in counters will now be not two per six feet, it's going to be one every six feet. To allow for social distancing, Mecklenburg County election officials added 11 new early voting locations, now totaling 33, up from 22 during the last election. This is the first time we've ever had this much coverage throughout the county. New sites include Bank of America Stadium, the Spectrum Center, and Bojangles Coliseum. Others include middle and high schools, now empty as students move toward remote learning, many in neighborhoods who've previously never had a polling location. Also new this election, extended early voting hours. We're going to give you options. Among options voters have this election is absentee ballots or voting by mail. In South Carolina, officials approved prepaid postage for all mailed absentee ballots and are currently working on opening absentee voting to all. In North Carolina, anyone can vote by mail. If you're anywhere, way, shape or form concerned about, about, um, uh, about voting in person, Ask for that absentee ballot now. And just to add, election officials here in Mecklenburg County say they are hiring new positions. Reporting in Uptown, Ashley Daly, WCC Charlotte.